coming up, Jamie West in the News Center. A uh, Buckeye uh, uh, police officer was laid to rest today, but they have released. Phoenix police have arrested the two suspects. She'll have information on that. Right now we're with uh, Allison Dubois, the psychic medium. She has a new book, Talk to Me, and she'll tomorrow night be at the, uh, the uh, Phoenix a uh, Airport Marriott on 44th Street, and you can meet, and uh, I assume you, you're signing books as well, too. Um, I'm signing books for the VIPs that um, already purchased their ah, tickets early on, okay. but books will be available, my new book. Um, I'm pre-releasing it in Phoenix Mother's Day weekend because I know nice. a lot of people lost mothers. Right. Right. I just want them to have right. that comfort. Um, real, real, real quick, let's just go over what, what the, the, me, the, the psychic reading she gave me, because now we've kind of broken it down. You said that, my, that my, there was a man tied to me, maybe it was my grandfather. Uh, today's the anniversary of his death. Right. I didn't tell you that. Yeah. So he was trying to come through before my grandmother right. that I asked you. Um, the other thing is, uh, you said that my grandmother was tied to uh, a little girl. Did you say that on the air or off the air? I As said, we went off I the said air? she said happy birthday, and then right. I went off the girl air. I looked at you, and I right. said it's a little girl's birthday that well, she's saying happy birthday. It was so. just my little niece, uh, Cassie, was born uh, about two months ago. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and she they, wasn't here for that. So she wasn't here for that. It. So I thought that was very, very, uh, it was very interesting. Yeah, there, there are certain things that people will just say to you that they had no no idea or they shouldn't have knowledge right. of right. that can really make somebody believe or, right. or at least lean a little bit more to believing. That's why I don't like to know anything about anybody before I read them. And if I know somebody, I refer them to somebody else because oh, the right. reading won't carry the same impact. Right. Hmm. Um, also in your book, you talk about kids. And kids also, right. es especially kids, may have this ability more than adults. Um, for the first eight, eight, nine years of my sister's life, she would always talk about how she was this woman in this home mm -hmm. and how she died. Wow. Now, do, how old was your sister? This when was up did? until she was about eight or nine. Okay, she thought she, she was someone else. Well, no, no, no. She didn't think. She would just tell you, like, oh, you know, when I was when I was actually married to my husband. Now she's like five or six, and we're at the dinner table. When I was married to my husband, and it was just a clear fact to her wow. that he went to work, and I fell down the stairs, and wow. I remembering that it really hurt on my side, and that's when I died. I've oh. actually seen studies about that with children, where they then trace back the information they say, and right. they, it's it's called unexplained on the biography channels, where I just saw them do it. And he turned out to be a Hollywood actor back in like the thirties. Okay, this five year old kid. But is there credence that my sister actually knows something about that, or is it that kids just have really wild imaginations? Um, that is so very specific. I would believe her because um, she could describe what she looked like. She right. could describe the timeline, even though she didn't know it. Right. We we kind of sort of traced it back to the twenties or thirties. Right. But we don't know what city or town it was in. Mm -hmm. But she can describe the house. Now she hasn't done that in years, right. but for the first couple, of, you know, first ten years of her life or whatever, she because I have a wild or vivid imagination. Sure. I mean, I got to work with this guy. So, you know, <laughs> I have to entertain myself somehow. <laughs> but she doesn't go there anymore. Right. Do we outgrow this ability? You think, or do we just clutter it with a filter that we just don't want to recognize anything? When you're told enough that what you're saying is in your head you start to believe it. And I think as we become adults, we get a little jaded and put mm -hmm. our walls up and have issues and religion sometimes can be a factor in right. that. And we just turn it off. Mm. All right, well, Allison Dubois, she'll be at the uh, Phoenix Airport Marriott tomorrow night, 7 o'clock, 44th Street in Phoenix, allisondubois.com. Thank you so much hey, for stopping thanks in. thanks for coming thanks in. For Great me. to see you.